let's take a journey through the Gudetama official cookbook. I love Gudetama. He is the laziest little egg, and he's a great little character. Um, so the recipes are by Jen Fujikawa, and these are specifically recipes for lazy living. And who doesn't want recipes for a lazy day? Every day would be nice to have a lazy cooking day, especially with like delicious food. So let's check it out. It's not a huge cookbook. It's very vibrant, as you can tell. Uh, Gudetama is super cute. All right, so in the table of contents, we have part one is barely awake breakfasts. That's perfect for almost every weekend. Uh, lazy lunches, drowsy dinners, tired treats. And each, uh, there's all the recipes listed with the pages on the side, which is very nice and helpful. It makes it even better for lazy people like myself. Part five is sleepy sips. Very cute. And here's Gudetama and his little egg. All right. So we have mostly pictures of Gudetama, but some photos of the food themselves are illustrated. Um, and these are so easy that we don't need some crazy gourmet, or not gourmet, but we don't need like an elaborate photo. So for instance, this is the unmotivated breakfast sandwich. Here we have how much it makes and the Gudetama scale of difficulty. And this is in the middle, which seems crazy because this would be really easy to make. So we have your list of ingredients on the side and your directions. And let's see what it says on the bottom. It talks about how breakfast is, breakfast sandwiches are the best way to start breakfast. I agree. So moving on, we have a good night's sleep over no, overnight oats. That's a mouthful. This is a really easy and this usually serves one. We have things that serve more than just one as well. So like slow moving sausage muffins is another one that serves 12, but it's super easy to throw together. We have why wake up waffles. Let's move on to some lunch dishes. Ooh, sorry, chill out chilaquiles. I am going to make this right away because I love chilaquiles. I got really excited. Okay, so moving on, we have more lunch items. A BLT exhausted. <laughs> That's really cute. Um, take your time, Tamago Sushi. This one's hard level. So that's really cool though. And here's what the uh, illustration looks like. Clearly this is a really cute book. This would be great for college kids if uh, you know, they're kind of just starting out and they have got like their own little tiny kitchens and they need to make, you know, single serving or just like a pairing. That's really nice. Uh, th this cookbook's really nice and it's cute. Here we have a uh, snoozy show you eggs. I don't have a photo of that one. This one's a, uh, a uh, spam and egg musubi resting. That was that really cute photo right here. Super cute. All right, moving on, uh, meh, meatball subs. That one's a harder one, it makes four. So you can see where the uh, difficulty lies. It's not that difficult, but it's pretty, it can be pretty hard, especially if you are a little new to cooking. Here we have a slumbersome spaghetti carbonara. This also is the, a difficult uh, recipe and it serves eight. Moving on, let's look at some desserts. Un unenergetic egg custard, really cute. <laughs> he looks so sad. S'mores, I'm done. And one more, we have a stress-free strawberry ice cream pie. Ooh, yum, look at that. That looks really good and he's so cute. This is a really quick and easy, awesome cookbook. It's the Gudetama official cookbook. Great for college kids or kids in general. It's great for adults too, whoever loves like Gudetama. I love Gudetama and I have friends who love Gudetama too. So check this out. This is the official cookbook of Gudetama by Jen Fujikawa. Let us know what you think about it. And you can do that on Facebook, in, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, all of the social media platforms. And you can do that also on amazon.com slash shop slash cookbook divas. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Let us know what you guys want us to go over next.